Perfection against respect. The NFC's best against maybe the AFC's best. The Washington Redskins and the Houston Oilers in one of the best places for football, RFK Stadium. And what a scene it was this afternoon. The Oilers trying to prove they're as tough a team as an NFC team. First NFC team they've played all year. There's Marcus Robertson with a pop. Richard Johnson with a pop. Eugene Good housekeeping seal helicopters. Brian Mitchell, Gary Clark, nerve by Bubba McDowell. 6-3 Oilers at the half. Pick it up tied at six. First play of the fourth quarter. Warren Moon hands to Lorenzo White. He fumbles behind the line of scrimmage. And Fred Stokes comes up with the football for the Skins. One play later, look at the blocking. Ernest Biner, 23 yards into the end zone. He had 112 yards today, and the Redskins lead it 13 to 6. Yeah, Chris, you talk about the blocking. Watch tight end here, Ron Middleton, as he blocks William Fuller, kicks him out, opens up a nice hole for Ernest Biner, and then Ernest Biner makes a nice little inside move there on Bo, Bo Orlando to get him to the end zone. Took Bo Orlando all the way to dawn on that one. <laughs> Next to Euler possession, Warren Moon lifts it, but Brad Edwards picks it off. Warren Moon struggling on the afternoon. Three plays later, Redskins with a chance to soft it away, but Rippin fumbles the snap. Jack Party's Oilers have recovered. One Euler possession later with five minutes left, still 13-6 skins. Moon barely gets rid of the ball. Almost intercepted by A.J. Johnson. Was he intercepted by Al Boyd Mays? They said no because Martin Mayhew committing mayhem with pass interference. On the next play, Moon with new life to Ernest Gibbons from Louisville. 20-yard pickup. Six plays late. Buck 42 to go in the game. Lorenzo White. Touchdown. We are tied. You know what Jack Party wants to signal. He's got it. We're tied at 13. If Howfield can kick it. Nice. He just barely makes the extra point. Now we're tied at 13. Ensuing kickoff. Maybe in the Pro Bowl for return man Brian Mitchell. But not because of this play. A holdover from the Glanville era. Johnny Meads, a special teams demon, forces the fumble. And the Oilers have a chance to win it. Ian Howfield getting ready is Moon to Gibbons for 11 yards. 33 yards for the win with four seconds to go. Ian Howfield. Forget it. It's a howitzer left, and we're tied at 13. Joe Gibbs' reaction. The Oilers' reaction, they know Howfield missed three extra points last week. And he missed a field goal that could have won it. Overtime, five plays and out for the Skins. Oilers' first possession. Daryl Green picks off Warren Moon, who's disgusted because across the field, one of the best in the business, Chip Lowman. Howfield can only watch. Low Miller, not is it just between the uprights, it's dead solid perfect for 41 yards, just four minutes and one second into the overtime, and the Redskins stay undefeated. They're 9-0 as they overtime the Oilers 16-13. The Oilers only their second loss of the year. They battle valiantly, but they fall to 7-2.